Assalamu alaikum guys welcome back to Seven engineers youtube channel today i am on this construction site and i will guide you for extra steel rods in the junction between beam and column to resist negative bending moment guys you can see that is one column and this is the other column that one is the other column now guys i will guide you for extra steel rods are bent up bar to resist negative bending moment guys you can see this is the junction between beam and Column. Why we provide extra steel rods to resist negative bending moment to the distance of L by 4 guys you can see this is the junction Okay, so guys L means length between two RCC column L by 4 mean length should be divided by 4 to get the length of Extra steel rods to resist negative bending moment when the load applied on the beam So beam transfer the load to the column column transfer the load to the footing or foundation so therefore guys you can see here this is the junction between beam and column so so the to the distance of l by 4 you are able to provide extra steel rods guys you can see we have three steel rods at the top so therefore three or other extra steel rods to the distance of l by 4 already they provided here which dia is 16 millimeter guys you can see so this is the center and this is the other center of the column now you can see guys this is l by 4 distance okay so l is the span between two column l by 4 mean to resist negative bending moment where we have maximum shear stresses when the load applied so it makes hogging so therefore to resist hogging or negative bending moment we are providing extra steel rods guys you can see these are extra steel rods okay if the span is 20 feet so extra steel rod length should be 5 feet okay because l should be divided by 4 guys you can see stirrups spacing you can see guys to the distance of l by 4 the stirrup spacing should be closely guys you can see this is the center of this column and this is the other side l by 4 distance you can see extra steel rods okay the place of extra steel rods if you want to make it economical so you can provide bent up bar okay but bent up bar is economical or crank bar and extra steel rod is so this is not economical you can say simply guys you can see dia of stirrup is 8 millimeter hooks are bent on 90 degrees so this is not okay it, it should be provided on 135 degree guys you can see this is the junction between beam and column here we have maximum shear stresses so therefore if you don't provide the extra steel rods so you will have more chances at this place for cracks guys you can see here we have bent up bar or crank bar guys you can see so this is bent up bar at this junction on the other junction they provided extra steel rods so both you can use but crank bar is economical guys you can see spacing is four inches are 100 mm to the distance of l by 4 guys you can see okay on each side you are able to provide crank bar this is very important because we have more chances of cracks at this place to the distance of l by 4 after l by 4 we don't have chances of cracks so therefore to resist negative bending moment are to reduce the shear stresses should be provide crank bar or bent up bar guys you can see this is the project you can see the steel reinforcement main bar and distribution bar dia is 12 millimeter with the spacing of 6 by 6 inches here we have the double mesh but this is in progress not completed design guys you can see clearly hope this video can help you thank you